You're watching Cut Out Connect on channel 35. Open Doors Music presents Cut Out Connect. I'm Rachel Lovestrand Adinati, and this is my childhood dream. In this episode, we are making animated videos at Med High in Mercedes, Texas. A true story about how a teen saved a toddler. How to draw the bird in the end. Health tips from a school nurse. And Rapunzel's Recorder Castle. Cut Out Connect is brought to you by Back to School Shopping Headquarters in Mercedes. From the 140 stores at the Rio Grande Valley Premium Outlets to locally handcrafted boots, nobody offers more value. No congestion, big selection. Shop Mercedes. Mercedes where you'll find collegiate, Texas-sized boots. Show your spirit. Continue your traditions. Support your alma mater. Take a unique photo. Post it. Tag it. Tweet it. In Mercedes. Big boots. Big opportunities. How to draw the bird and the bee. Use a pencil when you draw because when you make a mistake, you can erase it. Press very lightly with the pencil and draw slowly. It's easier to erase a lighter line than a darker one. Use a black pen to outline your drawing. Move your pen slowly so that you don't make mistakes. The pencil lines are a guide, so if you don't trace them exactly, it's okay. If you draw slowly, you'll make less mistakes. Shade in the lines of the bee with your pen. You might need to let the ink set for a few minutes so it doesn't smear before you erase all your lines. Use contrasting colors to brighten up your characters.
You're watching Cut Out Connect on channel 35. Cut Out Connect is a production of Open Doors Music and does not necessarily represent or express the opinions of this station. I'm Rachel Aileen Joe and I'm at Med High making animation. Med High is in Mercedes, Texas. Today we're in the advanced art classes of Ms. Robledo. These students are working in small groups. They've been given an assignment to create a video that expresses an idea or a lesson that's important to elementary school children. These students are designing their own characters and backgrounds. They're using crayons, colored pencils, and markers in their designs. Soon we will take the pictures and use a homemade scaffold. A scaffold is generally used in construction. Workers stand on the scaffold when they have to do work on a tall building. Our mini scaffold is going to hold our phone in place while we take pictures. We are taping our background to the table. Now we're moving the characters and taking pictures. This is stop motion animation. In this video called The Art of Teamwork, we see the paintbrushes and the paints come off the shelves to create a picture. It takes a team to accomplish a goal. This next student video is about what's important after school. Study time needs to come before playtime. Use your time wisely. In this last video, two friends cheer up another by sharing with him. Sharing is caring. Back to school shopping headquarters in Mercedes. From the 140 stores at the Rio Grande Valley premium outlets to locally handcrafted boots, nobody offers more value. No congestion, big selection, shop Mercedes. This next video is a true story of one of my friends from Mercedes, Texas. He was a teenager when he helped save a toddler. It was a pretty typical day. Uh, it was a, one, of those, one of those after school shifts. So I'd been at school all day and, and then I had to, you know, was there at work. My first real job, it was towards just the middle of the shift when I noticed that you know, there was a uh, commotion uh, in another part of the store. I heard some people screaming and, and some crying going on, people panicking and people rushing, other, other people rushing out towards, you know, uh, had congregated around someone. Um, and. Uh, so it looked like someone was had, had fallen to the floor and people were rushing to, to see what was going on. I heard someone say uh, the baby's choking. And so when I heard that, that's what prompted me to, 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 to go help. And the only reason why I think I even felt like I could go and help was because I had recently gone over the Heimlich maneuver and, uh, and CPR for children. And so it seemed like it was, it was almost calling me out that, okay, I just, I just learned this. Here someone needs it. I, you know, I felt, well, I, you know, I, I, need to, I need to go and, and see if I can help. I was in the middle of helping someone, checking out someone's groceries as, as a cashier there. And when I got there, no one was doing anything. They were just like around him. And so when I saw that, I was like, okay, well, I, someone's got to, you know, this baby's on the floor um, and no one's doing anything. He was already, he wasn't breathing anymore. And, you know. Why do you think the other people weren't doing anything? I think they were scared and they didn't know what to do. 
one individual tried shaking the, was trying to shake the infant, you know, um, maybe two or three years old, maybe you know, around that age. He was like totally limp. He was he was passed out. He wasn't breathing anymore. And then uh, that's when I stepped in. I said, I, well, I know Heimlich and, and CPR. And so they, they so here. So I started. Yeah, I started doing the 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 the, the way you do the Heimlich on on, a, on an infant. There's a certain technique that, that we had learned. And so that's I started doing that. It took a, a, maybe half a minute or a minute and the baby responded. Started coughing and, and came to. I remember the, the mother was just hysterical. Like, and that's part of the commotion that I, that I was hearing. It was afterwards when I started, it started hitting me. Okay, what just happened, you know? Did it actually happen this way? Um, because it, again, it happened so quickly and I re reacted quickly that I really didn't have time to, to think. Well, there's no question that if I hadn't been in class, if I hadn't been paying attention, if I hadn't taken my study seriously, then I would have been one of those bystanders without the ability to help and perhaps seen a tragedy there. Okay, be real quiet. If you own your own recorder, make sure you have it handy because at the end of these recorder videos, we're going to have a play along song. Rapunzel's Recorder Castle. Once upon a time, there was a recorder castle. The recorder castle was the tallest in the land. A beautiful princess lived in the castle guarded by a fire-breathing dragon. When the sun came up each morning, Princess Rabunzel climbed out of bed to do her most favorite thing, bake buns. Rabunzel happily made the dough for her buns. She opened the windows in her castle so that the bread would cool after it was baked. Rapunzel neglected to notice thunderclouds forming in the sky. She was too busy preparing the dough to go in the oven. I'm so tired, she yawned. I think I'll take a nap while the buns are cooling. As Rapunzel rested her head on her pillow, the clouds continued to rumble. As Rapunzel slept, it began to rain. Oh no! What's going to happen to the buns? Recorder hand position. You may feel more comfortable with using the hand that you write with on top, and it may even seem more logical to you. But when you play the recorder, the left hand is on top, and here's the reason why. All band woodwind instruments are constructed so that the left hand is played on the top. Using this same technique will prepare you for playing a band woodwind instrument in the upper grades. Even the stringed instruments of the orchestra are constructed so that the left hand is operating the strings and the right hand is operating the bow.
The issues of making a sound on the recorder are solved when you cover the holes completely and move the air slowly. Covering the holes. When the thumb does not cover the hole completely, the sound will be too high. Check to make sure that the student's thumb is not angled. Flatten the thumb to cover the hole completely. When the fingers are too curved, it's almost impossible to cover the holes. Flatten or straighten the fingers over the holes. Check the fingers for the circles, which indicate that the holes are being covered completely. Even if a hole is slightly uncovered, the sound will be incorrect. Moving air. The rule for making a sound on recorder is slow air. And the lower the sound, the slower the air. Rapunzel's Soggy Buns A flash of lightning followed by a clap of thunder awoke Princess Rapunzel from a beautiful dream. Time for tea, she said. Her mouth watered as she thought of sinking her teeth into fresh buttered buns. She stepped into the kitchen. Reaching for the tea kettle, her foot splashed into a puddle. Her eyes darted down and then up to the kitchen window. Oh no, she cried in anguish. It rained on my buns. Soggy buns, she sobbed. Meanwhile, down below Princess Rapunzel's window, the fire-breathing dragon was waking up from her afternoon nap. The flying insects out and about after the rain were busy buzzing around her, tickling her nose. Up in the kitchen, Rapunzel continued to cry, Maybe the birds will eat my buns, she moaned as she tossed the buns out the window. At the very same moment that the buns began descending, the fire-breathing dragon's nose, tickled by the swarming insects, erupted in an enormous sneeze. The fire ascended and caught the soggy buns in mid-air, toasting them to perfection. The dragon, seeing the buns, flew up and caught the buns in her wing. She then flew up to the window and returned the buns to Rapunzel. Rapunzel was overjoyed to have her buns back, so she gave in return for her kindness to the dragon a bun. The dragon received the gift, appreciating it. She said, thank you. The end. Now you see me, now you don't. If you can't see the tips of the fingers beyond the edge of the instrument, the fingers are probably too curved and not covering the holes properly. Flatten or straighten the fingers so that you can see the tips of the fingers over the edge of the instrument to cover the holes completely. You can find a plastic recorder like this one at a music store. A music store is a place where you can buy band and orchestra instruments. A recorder is a real instrument. In fact, it was one of the first instruments invented by humans. Thousands of years ago, these flutes were carved out of wood and bone. But today, companies can mass produce these recorders at low cost by molding them out of plastic. The most common problem that children have with plastic recorders is breaking them. Don't carry your recorder in your backpack. Kids forget that they're in there and they throw their backpacks around, breaking the instrument. Sometimes younger brothers or sisters get a hold of the recorder and break it. They throw the recorders on the ground or throw them across the room or hit them against hard surfaces. Inside your recorder case is a fingering chart. This shows you where to put your fingers on every note. There's also a little black rod this is called a cleaning rod and can be used to clean the inside of the instrument. The easiest way to wash the recorder is to simply run warm water through the holes and through the instruments. You can put some soap through it, but just be sure you rinse it really good. 
Wipe the outside of the instrument with a towel and now get some paper towel so we can dry the inside. Tear off a small piece and thread it through the hole of the cleaning rod. Now push the cleaning rod into the recorder, twist and pull out. Be careful not to get your paper towel stuck inside the instrument. Get your recorder because now it's time to play Hot Cross Buns. Go to my YouTube channel, Cutout Connect, to see these videos and more videos. Back to school shopping headquarters in Mercedes. From the 140 stores at the Rio Grande Valley Premium Outlets to locally handcrafted boots, nobody offers more value. No congestion, big selection. Shop Mercedes. You're watching Cutout Connect on McAllen Public Television Station 35. Did you know that music has an alphabet? This next song is called The Note Alphabet. A, then B, then C, then D, E, F, and G, repeat. A, then B, then C, then D, E, F, and G, repeat. This is the note of a bat. This is the note of a bat. This is the note of a bat, repeat. asked a school nurse what she thought about hand washing and this is what she has to say. You need to know when to wash your hands. Make sure you guys wash your hands after you use the restroom. Make sure you wash your hands when you're sneezing, coughing. Make sure you wash your hands when you're playing outside or you come in contact with somebody that might be sick. When you wash your hands, turn on the faucet and make sure the water is warm. Place your hands under the faucet and wet them, then get some soap and then you kind of just rub them together, lather them really good in between the fingers and then you rinse it off, pat dry them very well and that's basic hand washing for you. There are seven colors of the rainbow. Sir Isaac Newton assigned each color of the rainbow to the C scale. Here's the signs of the solfege scale with their colors. One, two, ready, sing. Do, re, mi, fa, so. This next video that I'm going to share with you is called Fingerprints Fly. It features the finger painting of my music students from W.B. Travis Elementary in Mercedes.
You can find these videos and more at my YouTube channel, Cut Out Connect. Cut Out Connect is dedicated to bringing quality children's programming to the Rio Grande Valley. If your group or organization would like to be featured on Cut Out Connect, email me, Rachel Lovestrand Audinati, at FrenchhornTutor at gmail.com. Bring your dream into everything. Open Doors Music is a nonprofit dedicated to youth development through music and fine motor skills. I'm Rachel Lovestrand Adenati, the director of Open Doors Music. Join me this summer as I bring fine motor skill development to a library near you.